Hey guys, assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today, guys, I'm checking out Don't Worry, A Lot Controls the Future. Okay? So, well, guys, it's human nature. We're all about that. We worry all the time um, about like the present, about the future, and it's not really good. I'm saying this because I have anxiety and I I do stress too much about like the future, which is not really good. It makes me think, even about the present, but like my mind is all about the future, what I'm gonna be doing, where I'll be, where I'll be without my parents, how would I live without my parents, what if my mom like pass away, how I'm gonna be reacting because she's sick and everything. So like all these thoughts ugh, are so you know suffocating and it's not really a good thing. Um so for those people who can control like their thoughts and they don't overthink, like are so blessed, you know, because people who are like overthinkers and have this kind of anxiety about like the future, about their life and everything you would understand this but some other people they don't because like i hate that you know it makes me so mad that like people like that they would be like then just stop thinking then just stop overthinking bro i cannot if i could i would have done that i could like, it's something that you cannot control you know it's beyond your control just don't to ask me to stop overthinking because i cannot like it's just like i cannot control that like it, it really sucks you know when and also like i mean i'm someone who doesn't actually you know i'm not really that close to my parents to tell them about how i feel about things i need to always show that i'm quite strong in front of them because my mom is so sick um, and, and like I have to be strong sometimes I snap you know sometimes I really get mad about things and I start like screaming and all the time angry and it happens that now I'm most of the time moody guys like it, because of you know since 2019 or so I've been going through this it's mentally exhausting and uh, you and you don't let things out you don't have time for yourself most of the time well it's a lot of struggle but then when your mood start like changing you have those you know mood swings and everything people don't really understand that like they because they can control their mind they can control their thoughts and they can control their feelings not everyone can do so and it's sickening that sometimes they just don't believe you and you they think that you're just being dramatic and you overreact to things when it's out of your control like it's people who go through this and have anxiety and depression and like going through bad things they might be like more understanding to this than other people who cannot um, I mean they don't have this kind of problem they don't overthink and I really wish I can stop overthinking um, and worrying you know like there's some more things I really give up for the sake of my parents and I like I'm proud of that somehow you know I, I have to be because I want to be with my parents I cannot just leave them and my mom is sick, there's no one to take care of her because my my siblings, like all of them, like three brothers, they live abroad. So I'm the only one here. I'm the only girl. I have to stay with my mom. Uh, I cannot just like leave like that. So, and I believe that this is something that makes me at ease sometimes and like that even if I don't go for the, don't go for the things I want right now, I'll be rewarded, rewarded after because of the things I'm trying 
to do for my parents and doing my best for them so yeah hopefully anyway let's start with this video because I start to talk a lot and I'm really sorry about that let's go I love you You know, shaitan wants that you worry about the future. That you just keep worrying. What's my son gonna do? Is he gonna rebel? What's my daughter gonna do? What's my husband gonna do? What's my wife gonna do? And you keep worrying about other people and what they're gonna do. And how they're gonna feel. Like you're in charge of them. Or you're in control of them. We're barely in control of ourselves. But we think we can control what everybody else around us is gonna do and what their future is gonna be and we wanna control their future. You'll have a mother dying every day. Why isn't my daughter who's married, why isn't she having a baby? When is she gonna have a baby? When is she gonna have a baby? And she's calling her and saying, you know Allah wants you to have a baby. Allah doesn't want her to have a baby, you want her to have a baby. I don't know what email you got from Allah that you told her. It's kind of true somehow. But this, in your there. mind, you just want these anxieties Worldly, worldly things that you want is all you think about for the future. I don't have it, I don't have it, I just worry about it. I don't know why I don't have it. And you're just consumed by that, completely consumed by that. It could be the most innocent of things, but shaitan wants you to be that way because when you do that, you're not happy with what Allah has given you, number one. And you easily forget that the one in charge is Allah. And the one in control over everyone is Allah. I am actually not in charge of my children. Once they get to a certain age, what they do is between them and Allah. All I can be is an advice, that's all I can do. But their decisions are going to be theirs. If our Messenger وسلم, can turn to his daughter and say, Ya Fatima tu bint Muhammad, ittaqillah fa inni la amliku laki min Allahi shay'a. Fatima, daughter of Muhammad, be mindful of God yourself because I won't have any control when it comes to standing in front of Allah. I won't be able to help you. That's what he tells his own daughter. So how do you and I think we have control over others, even within our family? He wants us to think we're in charge, and we want to, and that's actually something only Allah has the right to. But we, we, he, he consumes our minds with it. And of course, when you try to control people, it backfires, it never works. You can never control people. You can't control people. And when you can't control people, you get even more anxiety, anxious, and you get you know, negative constantly. And when you become negative constantly, it's impossible for you to be grateful. Look at how the ayah is gonna end. وَلَا تَجِدُ أَكْثَرَهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ You're not gonna find most of them grateful, because they're gonna be negative all the time. They're gonna be anxious about the future all the time. What's gonna happen to my job? What's gonna happen with my money? Where's this gonna come from? Where's that gonna come from? What's gonna happen to the health? What's gonna happen to the kids? What's gonna happen to this or that or the other? What if they find out? What if this happens? What if this one says this? What if that one does that? And you're just so overwhelmed by these petty things that you forget that Allah controls the future. That Allah owns it, not you, not me. And the fact that we had even a good peaceful day, one day, one moment, was not because we earned it or we planned it or we controlled it. It's Allah who gives relief. Every single day, that's Allah who gives relief. The fact that our bodies are still functioning and we're sitting here in the Friday prayer is Allah giving us relief, Allah giving us ability. And we forget that and we think that we have to figure all the future out. We have to control all the outcomes. And that's one of the things shaitan wants is to make you confused about thinking that you have something to do with the future. One of the greatest tricks of the shaitan is to make you pessimistic about the future. Nothing's gonna work out, it's all gonna be bad, nothing ever worked anyway, it's always gonna fail. You become so negative that you, not only are you negative about your own self, you become, your negativity becomes infectious. Even people around you. Somebody's happy about something, somebody graduated, you're like, yeah, but you're not really gonna get a job. Oh, bro. You just have to throw in some kind of negative, because, you know, no. just our luck. No, no, no. I'm Runs a in the negative family, person, don't but I'm not gonna say such a thing, you know? Like, uh, I'm happy for others if they're happy, but like, uh, like it's all about me and my future. Of course, like, I don't like them as their future. Yeah, I worry about my brothers and like family members if they're sick, I overthink stuff, you know? Um, it, like, it's within family. My mom is like that, my grandma is like that, was like that. So, it sucks like we have this thing is that we work like for example my grandma oh my gosh if one of us is sick she will be like so worried and she would stop thinking about us like because grandma like had to see her you know her her grand grand you know daughter and you know son so 
she would worry about her own daughter and son, their kids and their kids' kids, you know? So it's just within family probably and I hate this, is that like we don't just worry about ourselves but we worry about the people that we love but if it's something that they've done and received and they're happy about it, we're happy for them and we won't be throwing like negative things to them like that but like as I said, it's just that it's in our mind I would love to stop overthinking stuff, I would love to stop just caring about anything and just focusing on like the present but it's just like there it's not only about the future about every aspect of my life if i just have something i have to do the next day so much, especially because i'm not really a social person i have really hard time interacting with people even at work and it sucks like you know i'm a shy person i'm kind of like I get so stressed if I had to talk to the manager or everything like I you know I ha I would love to work on my own and like be at peace you know don't interact with me because I just struggle like I don't know what to say to you like I talk like this I seem like to be a normal person this is me but like with others I just find it like I have that anxiety like that person would talk to me I don't I wouldn't know what to say I wouldn't know how to respond to them and if I have to say something to them I will keep on overthinking that the whole night if I have to do a job like I have something to do I would like my brain doesn't stop and I really hate that and I really hate people who keep on like telling me well just don't think I, I said it I said it at the beginning I because if I could I, w I would give money <laughs> to have a peace of mind you know, a peaceful mind, you know, a, a, like some peace because it sucks, it's, it's consuming a lot of your energy and health, you know, mental health is going like down, physical health as well, you start like losing your appetite, like, you don't eat much, you don't sleep well, you, you're just all the time thinking about stuff which is really, really not good and you become somehow negative and I realized this because I'm at that point in my life where I see everything kind of negative where I'm not supposed to I want to do something about it but like it sucks especially that now I'm 30 years old and then I mean the worry and everything that I had before it's doubled now like like why? I'm 30, what am I supposed to do in the next few years? Where am I supposed to go? Like a lot of things and I, I hate that. Um, I know like the future is controlled by God and we would be whatever God actually wants us to be. But I just like here, I cannot shut this off and yeah i do read the quran i do listen to the quran like to relax my brain i i try to go out but like once you're alone once you're uh, in your bed like trying to sleep then all of the th them thoughts uh, they come right into you and it sucks so i'm i'm really sorry i had to stop and say this worry and about it you yeah. just and th this is the pessimism of the devil he wants that from you because if a, if a person is pessimistic, then how can they have pessimism and hope in Allah? Yeah. How can they have pessimism and reliance in Allah? Then with what heart are they making dua to Allah? If they've already accepted defeat inside, then nothing's gonna work out. Then they have no expectation from Allah. Then they're the most essential relationship we have with Allah, which is that of asking Him, having hope in Him. You cut that off. I'm sorry, I have to pause again and say this, but like, well, I believe that God wouldn't let me down, you know, even if it would take, you know, years. I see this because, like, there are moments when you are, like, so overwhelmed and so probably mentally broken, physically broken, like, you just cannot carry on, like, you just, you got there, you'd be like, why me? why like I'm making words and praying to God but like he's not responding to my prayers it happens actually but like 
you don't have to, you shouldn't actually lose hope or faith in God because, um, like, there are some people who lose faith because of this. They be like, I pray, but like, no response, nothing, nothing happened. I'm still like the same. I'm still suffering, but you shouldn't be like that. Like, uh, and I really pray and hope that I never lose my faith in in, in God. And I'm like, no. Because I know that, like, even though I'm going through a lot of, you know, difficult things, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm gonna be rewarded after that, no matter what. As you can see now, like, with the war that's going on right now, now it's, like, it's gone for, like, 80 days or so, and there are some people who... I've read in the comments that like there are some people who mentioned things like this that like like God is not even in their side or like there are some people who kind of didn't believe that God is there because he's not doing anything for those people who are dying every single day every minute you know that's how they see it, but like God is all seeing, all hearing, He knows what He's doing and we know it's gonna happen because we believe in God and we believe that they are the winners those people who are dying, they are the winners and the others like I mean like we don't have to talk about that but like you know what I mean so I'm really sorry for pulling too much you have, like, you're hopeless and what is shaitan by definition? he's hopeless by definition, he's hopeless. And he wants you to become hopeless. These are his attacks from the front. Hmm. That's it? Oh, that was a really interesting thing, actually. Like, you know, sometimes you just need a reminder. You need someone to tell you these things. Even sometimes when you're so overwhelmed, you listen to this, you know that it's true. But like, it's just because they're so overwhelmed, you be like, then why me? Like, there are a lot of people who suffer more than us, you know? Like, at least we're at peace. People are dying, you know? Like, always look at those who are like, suffer more than you so you can be grateful actually for whatever you have and just keep your faith, keep on praying and uh, things would be, be, would be better. So, hopefully. So, I really love this video um, and I hope I can stop overthinking I, I really hope that I keep on being like like having this hope and this faith I'm trying like my best because I'm not you know I don't really practice that much my religion uh, I mean I was, uh, my problem is with praying like as I s mentioned before I pray and I stop like I'm trying to get like to pray all the time uh, But other things I try my best to do them to read to listen to the Quran to make dua to do it so far and everything so like I'm 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 trying of course so no one is perfect everyone makes mistakes so uh, it's just like the idea that you are trying and you want to do something, you know, it's already like a good step, okay? So anyway, that was my reaction for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, stay blessed. I hope you guys still he stay healthy and keep your faith and keep your prayers on time uh, and pray for those people there in Palestine and yeah i'll see you guys in more other videos soon bye bye